Okay, in this video, I'm just going to show you how the WMR200 history data works. So, where the display will start up, and this window here will open, and then this program will get the raw data, the D2 data, and then the bottom here it gives you the current time in that data, and once it has finished, or the current time is found or live data arrives then it'll it'll close out and you can also tick clear the WMR tone of flash data when they're finished okay and it'll restart one more time just to make sure it's got all the data and once no more history data has come in it'll time out and then that data will be processed by weather display itself on this window. Okay, one more count to go. This will close to process that data in this window. There we go, process the data, updates the data, and then the separate data reader is running down here, the WMR200. If we bring that one up, one click. And here we go, here's the current data coming in. This is the live data. Once the barometer has come in, then it will display in here. Here we go, and there's the, there's the data. Okay, that's, that's a metric in the data reader, and this will just happens to be an imperial. I can change that. The metric and there we go 1014 and that was 1014 28.8 27.7 okay